Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about what is deferred expenses. Deferred expenses are the prepayments or prepaid expenses. So these uh, will be already paid, but the service is not yet used. So an example for the deferred expenses or the prepayments are monthly expenses as well as the insurance. In case of a company, the pre uh, prepayments or the deferred expenses are considered as the asset because the payment is already made but the service or the goods are not yet used. So the company cannot report this in the income statement or profit loss statement and that can be only considered as deferred expense in the balance sheet of a company. So let's check how to manage the deferred expense in order 16 accounting module. In order to manage the deferred expense first, we need to create a model for the deferred expense from the configuration menu of accounting module. So here we can see the deferred expense models. Let's create a new model by clicking new. So we can set uh, the name as home rent. And you can uh, set the depreciation method that is the number of recognition. So I'm writing it to be five months. And here we have computations like now pro rata constant periods and based on days per period. So let me set the computation as now pro rata and you can also set the accounting details like company, deferred expense account, deferred uh, I mean expense account also. So let's set uh, the deferred uh, expense account. So you can see the Ford expense account is set as current as the account. We have to give a code for the account. And under automation, you have to ensure that you are setting the automation as uh, no. Now let me save and close this. Now when you're back to the expense account, you can also choose an expense account for this. Now let me save uh, the deferred expense model. Now let's back to the accounting uh, menu and you can set the deferred expenses. So here we can create a deferred expense by clicking new. So home print be the name of the deferred expense. And here we can see two fields called expense and related expense. We can set the recognition values like the value uh, to be applied. So letting the amount to be 5000 and here you can also set the recognition date. So letting the recognition date to be beginning of the month and you can also choose a model. So when you choose a model, all the details that is related uh, that has given in this uh, model will be automatically configured by creating a deferred expense. So here we can see that the month is uh, five, that is the duration of recognition is five months and the computation we are using is now pro rata. And here we can also set a non decrypt uh, depreciable value that is uh, if I'm setting 100 as the non depreciable value then till for 4900 the value get depreciated and uh, beyond 100 uh, beyond that value uh, the value won't be depreciated now here under accounting we can see the details like company deferred expense account as well as expense account and journal that we have used now we are, when you save uh, this and click on compute, you can see that the computation is based on no pro rata and uh, uh, field is triggered here that is expense board. Now here we can see the uh, amount. Uh, so we have set uh, five months. So for each month, the amount will be thousand. So we'll show you the calculation. We know that the original value uh, the original expense is 5000 uh, and uh, the recognition period is 5. So we know that we will get 1000 as the expense for each of the month. But in case of April, we can see that 13 days has left from this month and the expense is shown as 600. This is how uh, is because we got the amount for one month. Now we know 13 days has left. So we need to get the expense of each day so the total number of days in the month of april is 30. so you can divide the total amount or the total expense in the month of april that is you can divide it with uh 30 so you will get the expense for one day 
Now we know that we have 30 days in the month. So we have to multiply the expense of one day with the total number of days in the month. And we need to uh, subtract the total number of days left from the month. So uh, actually today is 13. So 13 days has left. And in order to compensate that, uh, we have to add one uh, with this. Now you will get 600 as the amount. So you can see that uh, in the month of uh, April, 600 will be the expense. And uh, for the rest of the four months, the expense will be uh, calculated as same. And in the final month, we can see that only there will be 13 days left. And... So in the final month, we know that only 17 days left. So we only need to make an expense of 400 for the uh, days left in the last month. So only 400 will be uh, deprecated as the expense. Now let's back to the expenses and let's change the computation method as based on days per period. And you can save the changes manually and compute the expenses. So when you click on compute expenses, you can see that the total expenses is changed. So we know that 5,000 is the original amount and the number of days exist in five months is five, uh, I mean 153. So you will get the expense for one day. Now we know that uh, there is 30 days in the month of April, that is in the beginning of the month. Uh, so 30 days left and we know 13 days has left from the month and we need to add one with this. So you will get the amount as 588.23. Okay, that will be rounded and set the expense as 5824 and you can see the cumulative expense will be same as that of the expense in the beginning of the uh, month. And you can see uh, the next period revenue will be subtracted from the original value. Uh, so uh sorry next period expense that is you can uh separate the cumulative expense from the um original value and you will get an amount of four four double one point seven six uh as the next period expense now let's check how to calculate the uh yeah next month expense so we have 5000 as a total amount and we need to divide with the total number of days that exist in the month and for five months so you will get an expense of uh 32.674 and the expense as one day expense now we know that there are 31 days in the month and you need to multiply it with 31 so you will get an amount of 1013.07 as the expense now in case of the third month you can see uh Let's consider uh, the original value divided by 153 and you will get the expense for one day, right? And uh, in case of third month, there is only 30 days. So you need to divide with 30 days and you will get an expense of 980.39 as the expense. So the rest of these steps are uh, similar to the steps that we have previously explained. So hope this concept is clear for you and thank you for watching the video.